Baby, the power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, honey, you're still one foot in a dream. You're not making any sense. Come back to bed. Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Alan Wake. So I gotta say, without you guys, I would probably be a lot more lost than I already am. Because uh, you guys have pointed out a couple of things. So uh, with the other guy, Zane, writing in kind of that loophole, it was actually the, uh, the shoebox filled with... Whoa, Jesus. Uh, filled with whatever it was. Alan, you're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? This is creepy. I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. She really wants me to get back in bed, but... I don't think that's a good idea. I think I need to get the F out of this dream world. I'll try to find the clicker. Come back to bed, Alan. Oh Come my back God. to bed, Tom. <gasps> oh, what? Oh shit. <laughs> uh okay. Wait, should I melt her or not? Uh oh. You must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. Mr. Scratch. Telephone pole. So this is like an unwritten kind of... I don't know what this is going on here. Let's bring in a bird, maybe. Oh, okay. Phone's ringing. So, everything that's happening, it's kind of like a story within a story. <laughs> like, it's really bizarre. Oh, there's the shoebox. I'm leaving you. What? what? <laughs> I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No, what do you say? You can't. You don't love me. How could you? You don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're, you're my muse. I'm not. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? It wasn't true. Nothing like that had ever happened. Okay. I had written myself across the ocean. What in the hell? I 
I'm gonna need, like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a full detailed, like, here's what really Welcome happened. What? I'm tiny, you naughty boy. I will help you write your masterpiece. I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Put that knife away, Thomas. Put it down. Your heart is filled with darkness. I'll cut it out. Ah! Ah! I'll take you back to the depths of Pedro. What the hell? I'm just trying to process everything that's happening to me right now. Whoa. I'm not super concerned about light Get pulse. away from me, you hag. Where am I? Let me go. Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to write. Now it's too late. It's his fault. So now we're back at the original cabin. Now you will never get her back. Whoa. What? I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. You put the clicker inside, he's gonna click it on. presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light.
Whoa. Okay, well, let me try to explain what I think happened. Okay, <laughs> bear with me. So, at the very end, we saw that there was this Mr. Scratch who was playing as me, Alan, while Alan was has been writing this story, I think. So, actually... Okay, wait, maybe this maybe this doesn't make sense, but so actually we have technically been playing as Mr. Scratch while the real Alan has been writing the book, I think. And then I don't know. <laughs> That's so crazy. And so the 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 okay, so I think this all started I think this all started because of the uh, the two metalhead brothers that were writing, or not writing, they were creating that moonshine from the ocean or from the lake water. And then the lake water like caused some crazy stuff to happen, I think. And then the girl, the, the dark woman there, she uh, did the same thing to Thomas Zane, or Thomas Zane and her were like together or something. And then something like that's kind of where I'm a little bit confused. So I don't know. I, I look, I had a great time playing super time. I really enjoyed all of my time with Alan Wake. Uh, but some of the story elements, I'm just like, what? I'm a little bit confused. I think there's like kind of like an inception thing happening there where it's like when I watched inception, the movie, the first time I was kind of like, whoa, this is pretty nutty. Not sure. I took that all in. I watched it again, and I was like, oh, okay. But then, after you watch it after that, I've watched uh, Inception three times, and it wasn't until the third time where some of the things started to kind of click together. And I, fe I feel like Alan Wake might be kind of that type of story, where the more you watch it or experience it, the more you're going to understand what's happening. And for, from my perspective, like, as you're playing it, it's sometimes hard to take in all of the small uh, minutia that are occurring when you're focused on, like, actually playing it. And I think it might be beneficial for me to, like, watch somebody else play it or uh, just watch my own playthrough to really figure out uh, the nuances of the story because there's a couple of things that I'm, that I'm a bit lost on. And what I'd like to do is engage in a discussion with you guys in the comments below about... Uh, your interpretation of Alan Wake and what um, what you think is really happening. So at the very end, he's like, it's not a lake, it's an ocean. I don't think he's talking about, you know, the physical lake. What I think he's saying is it's so deep. And I don't know if he's like, like, so we had the flashbacks of Alice and she was like, did you take your meds and stuff? Like, I don't know if he was crazy or like, I'm not sure what was happening there. Uh, but... I don't know. <laughs> so I would really like to talk to you guys about it. So if you guys could kind of leave me what your theory is, and then I'll, I'll talk to you guys about it as much as I possibly can, because I really want to understand this. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to fully get it. Um, but I got to say, from a gameplay perspective, super fun. Uh, it was pretty scary, actually. A lot scarier than I thought it was going to be. And there was, like, a lot of jump scares where I was, that I was not expecting. Every time that... Um, that barber girl's face would flash on the screen with the scream. I was like, ugh, I hated that so much. I'm so glad that that's done. I know there are some DLC for this game, and I'm going to check into those. Uh, if they carry on from this story, then I might do them. Um, but if they're just kind of like, you know, additional whatever, if it doesn't drive um, the story of Alan Wake forward, I, and if they're like just separate things, then I might not do them. But I'll look into that and decide. Uh, that being said, what am I going to do next? I don't know. It's tough. There's not a lot of new games coming out in the next couple of months. And uh, in a way, that's kind of nice because it gives you some flexibility, uh, at least from my perspective, gives me some flexibility and choice. Um, so I'm thinking about a couple of games. There's been a certain trilogy that I've been talking about playing for a while. Um, the Mass Effect trilogy, if you don't know what I'm talking about, is, uh, is a game that I had actually played Mass Effect 1, 2, and I didn't quite finish 3. 
and this was like way this is like way 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 back and honestly when i was when i used to play video games i was never like focused on the story as i am now and it was just you know i was shooting aliens basically <laughs> that was my mass effect experience i couldn't even tell you really i could kind of tell you like the overarching story like you're trying to like save you know the galaxy or whatever but all the little nuances like i have no clue and so what i'd really love to do is just dive into that trilogy oh maybe this is the time to do that i'm not sure I'm not sure if people would even be into watching that because it's been probably done by so many people and uh, I'm sure everyone's played it and knows the story like inside and out. But I would love to experience the story since I never really did that. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but we have some options. Anyways, I'd like to discuss this game with you guys. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, we'll try to we'll try to hammer out the story together. If you're as confused as I am, Leave me a comment as well because then I'll feel a little bit better. But uh, <laughs> I'm a bit confused. I think I have some things right, but some things I'm like way off. But uh, thanks to you guys for the support. It's it's meant a lot to me. Being that this game is so old, and it's like a ton of people have played it. I still appreciate the fact that you guys would tune in and, and check it out and uh, have a good time with me. So uh, thanks to you guys for for making this what it was. And we'll see you in the next game. Okay, bye.